All right, moving on to our next question in the queue. Anita Powell with Voice of America, please go ahead. Thank you so much, John. I hope you're keeping warm today. Uh, I have two Red Sea questions. First of all, on this deal between Ethiopia and the breakaway Somali province of Somaliland. Does the White House see this as a threat to U.S. national security, especially in light of recent troubles in the Red Sea? And what can or will Washington do to calm the situation? And then just going back to something you said about the Houthis, how we're not looking to expand this conflict, how do you square that with the mission of degrading their capabilities? I mean, how is that not expanding this conflict? So on, on the second question, I mean, uh, by, by – uh, it's a it's a very simple equation. By by removing military capability from the Houthis, we are making it harder for them to conduct these attacks. These attacks have been escalatory. These attacks have been dangerous. These attacks have affected uh, merchant shipping in the Red Sea, one of the most important international waterways around the world. Um, so the very act of taking these strikes, um, knocking out their capability in some cases before they could use it. That is, by definition, taking the tensions down. You're taking, you're taking the ability for them to conduct these attacks off the table. Um, and, uh, again, we reserve the right to continue to do that as appropriate uh, to prevent them from causing more mayhem uh, and, uh, and more danger to, uh, to merchant ships and merchant sailors. On um, Ethiopia and Somaliland, uh, we're certainly troubled now by uh, what's reportedly included um, in a memorandum of understanding between Ethiopia and Somaliland. As we've said many, many times, we support Somalis, Somalia sovereignty, their territorial integrity, and it's got to be respected. Uh, so we're engaging with partners in the region. Uh, we certainly welcome efforts by the African Union uh, and the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, otherwise known as uh, IGAD, uh, to help lessen, ten lessen the, the tensions. Um, what we're particularly concerned about is that this MOU uh, recently now inked between Ethiopia and Somaliland uh, threatens to disrupt the, the fight that Somalis, Africans, and regional international partners, including us, uh, are waging against al-Shabaab. And al-Shabaab remains a viable terrorist threat in the region without question. So, look, the, we don't believe that the region can afford any more conflict. Uh, we don't think this MOU is moving uh, us in the right direction. Um, and we'll keep, keep raising that not only with uh, partners there uh, in the Horn of Africa, but, uh, but also elsewhere. So just to press you on, is that a threat to U.S. national security then, this, this possibility that Shabab may, may rise? It certainly, it, it certainly uh, could directly impact national security interests in the region without question, because we, we, uh, we hold out Shabab uh, uh, as, as a continued uh, foreign terrorist uh, organization, continued dangerous threat. Uh, to our interests and the interests of our partners. So there, there could be uh, uh, a U.S. national security threat posed by the language in this MOU, which is why we're, we're deeply concerned about it. 